We're going to start out with this 1969 427 390 horse Corvette by talking about Stingrays. Okay, um, Harley Earl designed, went on a fishing trip, as everybody knows, and he caught some fish and named a car after it. Well, when we first started this process, the first inkling of that was the Stingray or the second generation Corvette with the Stingray logo being Stingray. Well, that became extremely popular and in 68 you didn't see it because the body style of the third generation is the Shark, the Mako Shark body style. So it didn't have the Stingray badging. But in 1969, the marketing department at GM said, we better bring it back. And they did, Stingray as one word in script. And that lasted until 1976 on the side of the cars. Hence, the moniker Stingray. And as everybody knows, that was brought back uh, for the 2014 model. Enough about marketing terms. This 1969 is a beautiful car. It is a big block, 390 horse, matching numbers car. Um, of course, all Corvettes are red, right? So <laughs> this is red with a black interior. Uh, the paint on the car I would call good. Um, if you've listened to my videos before, um, I call it very good five foot paint. From five feet it looks perfect, but if we get down on it, um, I can point out small little stress cracks right here. Some small issues, but nothing um, terrible, terribly bad. Nice red line tires. That beautiful 427 hood. And the caps and bands on the tires are in excellent shape. Power brakes, air conditioning. Obviously super rare options for a big block car. And of course the 390 427 cubic inch engine. An absolute pleasure to drive. This is a tilt and telescoping for those taller guys, bigger guys out there. A lot of guys can't find that um, the column that allows for the tilt and the telescoping. This is one of them. So a great option for the car. Our seating is in good shape. It looks to be a little bit older as far as the condition and the foaming foam inside. The carpet is in good shape as well, but again, showing a little bit of age. Top is in like new condition. Very clean, weather stripping looks newer. Nice and clear in the back window. Our chrome is in excellent shape. Overall, a very nice driver quality car, but this car has something else that is very rare. Starting in 1967, Chevrolet used tank stickers on the top of the gas tanks that were positioned here so that the guys on the line as the car was going down knew what to put on the car. Obviously with the paperwork necessary for a Corvette those became very popular but they're really hard to find as you can imagine underneath this gas tank did not carry a whole lot of protection to it so to have the tank sticker is a big deal. Uh, the tank sticker kind of verifies what this particular car is and was. Folks, if you have any questions about this or any of the hundreds of Corvettes, give me a call, 770-605-2056 or john at buyavet.net. Subscribe to that YouTube channel so you can see all this new fun stuff first. We'll see y'all.